I'm Robin Carlin at the Denver Post Sports Desk. Sunday was a bittersweet day in Denver. Peyton Manning is now the NFL's all-time leader in passing yards. That's pretty sweet. But now for the bitter. In fact, it was awful. When it was all over, the scoreboard read Chiefs 29, Broncos 13. But the loss isn't really the story with this one. Manning got the record, but on the day, the future Hall of Famer was just 5 of 20 passing, totaling just 35 passing yards. He threw four interceptions before being benched in the third quarter. Enter Brock Osweiler. The backup engineered two touchdown drives, but he also threw the fifth interception of the day. That one was picked off in the end zone, by the way. So where do the Broncos go from here? Next week, they head to Chicago with a few old friends, Jay Cutler and the old ball coach himself, John Fox. But who will get the start, Manning or Osweiler? After the game, Coach Kubiak told the media that Manning is still the quarterback if he's healthy, and that's a big if. Is there a quarterback controversy in Denver? That will be the big story all week. Be sure to stay tuned to denverpost.com slash Broncos to see how this one unfolds. Well, the bittersweet theme carried over to the hardwood. The Nuggets got a nice win over the Rockets, 107-98 Friday night. Rockets guard Ty Lawson was held to zero points in his homecoming. Danilo Gallinari put up 27. And that was a sweet part. The bitter? Saturday night, the Nuggets were embarrassed by the Suns in Phoenix. 105-81, your final score in the desert. Phoenix point guard Eric Bledsoe had 30 points, and he didn't even play in the fourth quarter. Will Barton led the Nuggets with 19 points off the bench. Kenneth Reed did not return after halftime due to back spasms. Next up, the Nuggets head to New Orleans to face the Pelicans on Tuesday. The Avs looked pretty good Saturday over the Habs, one of the best teams in the NHL. Colorado won 6-1. It was a well-rounded effort as the Avs got goals from Mikhail Grigorenko, Matt Duchesne, Blake Como, John Mitchell, and two from Nathan McKinnon. Reto Berra was almost perfect with 29 saves. And the Avs did it all without their captain, Gabe Landeskog, who was out serving the first of a two-game suspension for a hit to the head against the Bruins last week. The Avs look to keep their three-game win streak alive as they travel to Toronto to play the Leafs on Tuesday. The Avs claim forward Chris Wagner on waivers from the Anaheim Ducks yesterday to make room in the roster. They placed goalie Semyon Varlamov on the IR. Varley injured his groin during a morning skate last Tuesday. In local college football, CU lost another close one, 27-24 to USC Friday night. Some bad news for quarterback Stefo Lufau. He's out for the rest of the season with a fractured left foot. CSU beat UNLV Saturday 49-35, and Air Force got the best of Utah State 35-28. You're now up to date. For more on these stories and others, pick up a copy of the Denver Post. I'm Robin Carlin at the Sports Desk with some of our top stories from DPTV.